What's going on everybody? As you all know, Cube World is out, at least in beta, if you're watching this before the 30th of September. Um, first thing I want to do is, when I installed the game, I wanted to just bump up that graphics. Obviously, I want my uh, GTX 1080 to be used to its max. Yes, I know it's not the newest one, but it is fully capable of running this game with relatively awesome graphics. Um, so the problem I ran into is uh, I uh, tried bumping it up to 4K resolution. Now, my display is only a 1080p, but with other games, you can get the, you get the better resolution and then let your monitor downscale it, however that interaction works, and you will get a little bit smoother, smoother appearance. You may not notice it. I'm a nerd. I notice things. Um, but I had a really, really weird issue. So I'm going to show you what I did here. Um, I went to options. You're going to see whatever you want here. Um, I have a full screen. The resolution here is 10 as 1920 by 1080. So I went up here, bumped it up to 4K resolution, bumped everything up, render distance. I think it was set to 50%. I bumped it up to 100. Um, CPU usage, everything up, whatever. You know, I use I have a uh, Vizio TV as my monitor, so that's why it's stuck at 1080. Um, but I can control the volume separately, so that's that's nice there. No FPS limit, and then when I hit apply, you're gonna see what happens. All right, screen resolution changed, as expected. So trying to render um, this four times the amount of pixels in the same amount of space, everything just shrinks. Watch my mouse cursor though, going to the right, going to the right. Oh, it's stuck like it hit a wall. Now I'm gonna move it down. Oh, it's stuck like it hit a wall. I don't know if this is a problem with the way the mouse cursor has its coordinate system laid out. That's going to be something for Picaroma to, and uh, Wolfram to address. So, this is the issue I have. The problem is, as you can see, I cannot even get to the OK button. So, I can't hit escape. I can't do anything. This literally locks up my game for me on the uh, start screen. So, this really irritated me. What did I do? Like any normal person, I rebooted it, see if that made a difference. Since I didn't click apply or OK, it should have stuck. Well... What did I do after that? Didn't work. So I uninstalled the game and reinstalled it. And all the settings are the same. That is because when you uninstall it from Steam, all of your configuration items are still there. So Mike, what do I do here? I don't know. How do I fix this problem? How do I play Cube World? Well, you Alt F for it. I'm sorry, I have a blank window now. Okay, yeah, you're right, you have a blank window. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Notepad, uh, in the Windows Explorer. So for Mac, or if this runs on Linux, I don't know, you guys may have to do something different, but it's going to be something very similar to this. So you're going to see in the window I have here, um, I have a file called options.cfg. All right, that is just a configuration file. So what I did is once you, once you open that up, you're going to see I have things over here. Let me go ahead and uh, close this file out and reopen it. Okay, the reason I'm doing that is because I had it open in Notepad already. Um, let me switch the screen over for you guys. All right, you can see the options that are inside of there. Full screen, one is true in computer lingo. And here is my resolution. Um, if you can see, it's set to 4K. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to 1920 and change this to 1080. Save it. You can see a little, um, actually, you can't see it. I have that off the screen. Um, basically, I saved in Notepad, and what that's going to do is that resets the configuration file. If you're wondering how to get it, you can see at the address bar here, your PC. I have a, a couple hard drives installed here. I have a Spinny Spinny, which is where most of my data goes to. I, ha I reserve my smaller solid state device for Windows. Um, program files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and Cube World. So, this section right here, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Cube World. If you did not change the default installation, that's where it is. You just have to look on wherever drive you chose to install it. Simple answer. Like I said, I saved it. Now it opens back up with the 1080p settings. Let me go ahead and reopen Cube World. And it is actually a very fast launch. Um, one of the fastest games I've seen to launch. And guess what? We already have this. Let me move... Uh, close these other windows out of review and you can see it's back open now I did not move the mouse cursor you can see that the resolution got bigger again 
Now, I'm going to go back to the game, and you can see I have full control of where I'm putting it back, and the resolution is back to uh, 1080p. That is an easy fix. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and submit a bug report on this, but if you run into this issue playing the game, you now have your solution. All right, if this video helped you guys out, if you ran into this problem, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Um, honestly, I couldn't... I'm just this channel is literally here just to share some gaming experience if you wouldn't mind check out my main channel It is just plain dungeons and diving um, I do have some outdoor activities of skiing videos fishing videos that is going to be ever expanding This is just a backup fun channel for when I'm indoors But please if this video helped you out check out my other channel and subscribe to them both all right Without any more. I'm gonna let you guys go enjoy your cube world. Take care and have a good night